The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is located in Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia. The tomb symbolizes the fallen soldiers of World War I, World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. The tomb was originally made in 1921. It started off as a marble slab with the remains of one unidentified soldier who had died in World War I. It wasn't until 1926 that the Congress approved that the tomb was to be completed. Not until 1937 was there a 24-7 guard presence at the tomb. In October of 1921, four bodies of unidentified World War I soldiers were exhumed from different cemeteries in France. After the four caskets arrived in a town hall in France, only one was selected to be placed in the tomb. Once the unidentified soldier was selected, the casket was taken to Washington, D.C., where people could visit and pay their respects to the soldier. The casket was then taken to the Arlington National Cemetery, where the funeral took place. President Warren G. Harding had placed the Medal of Honor on the casket. In August of 1956, President Dwight D. Eisenhower had approved the selection for unidentified soldiers of World War II and the Korean War to be included in the tomb. With World War II being fought on four continents, there were complications with the selections of the unknown soldiers. The soldier was to represent all of the Americans who had died in the war and not just in one theater. Two unknown soldiers were taken to the tomb and buried west of the World War I soldier. Arlington National Cemetery began preparing in order to add a third crypt to the tomb. With the advance of technology, people thought that there would be no need to include a soldier from the Vietnam War. However, they had put an unidentified soldier into the tomb. The Department of Defense continued to try and identify the soldier, and they found evidence that supported the claim that it was Michael Joseph Blassie, who was a first-class Air Force pilot. They exhumed the body from the tomb and had a DNA test to confirm that it was him. After they identified the body, they moved it to the Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery in St. Louis, Missouri. To this day, the crypt made for the Vietnam War remains empty. As Veterans Day approaches, we thank all military veterans that have proudly served our nation.